Good afternoon, YouTubers. This is Robbie from Bang For Your Box RC Reviews. Thanks for dropping by and watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content that you're seeing. What we have here I present to you is the Remo Hobby Dingo. Uh, I got the buggy one. Uh, this right here is a 1 16th scale brushless Dingo. If you didn't notice in the intro, it is pretty sweet looking. I love it. Uh, it looks very, very appealing to the eye. I did run this, as you can see, the tires are dirty. I got mud on it. Um, I did the uh, running and driving test um, before I gave my commentary on it and my review on it. Um, it is a very nice and eye appealing vehicle. It has everything that you need to make it a to make a really nice RC car. Um, I really think that this is good, but it's not as good as it could be. That uh, I believe it's a 3600 kV uh, brushless motor uh, is fast. It's it's really fast. As a matter of fact, I think it could probably rival WL Toys 1 14th scale or even the 1 18th scale uh, car. As you'll see the top speed run in this video. Um, it's pretty impressive. Uh, the tires, uh, the shortfall uh, of this vehicle right here. I'm not saying the other, are, uh, the other Remo Hobby vehicles that they make are gonna have the same issue. They may not, but I haven't tested those yet. Uh, this is the buggy. Uh, the tires are kinda, they kinda have a real hard side, side wall, um, which sometimes when you're plowing into corners and drifting into corners, they really, uh, um, they hook up too well and basically you end up uh, toppling over side to side. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a great car, I think. I think it's just the tires are really uh, hurting it. It's handling. And also, it comes with these friction shocks, um, which do the job of suspending it. Um, but, you know, they're, they're a little bouncy out of the box. Um, I did put oil in these. All right, guys, I uh, told you that I would check the shocks to see if they could hold some oil. Uh, they... Apparently do they do leak a little bit. I don't know how long the oil is going to last um, Inside of there uh, But they do take oil. They do seem to be holding it uh, No, no bounce as you can see They do hold oil um, Bounces a little bit uh, But not as much as it was um, So they do hold oil, but they it does leak out slowly um, overnight, uh, I had a little bit of a wet spot underneath the shock mounts on the bottom. And yeah, so it, you can put oil in it. Uh, I put the thicker stuff if you can. Uh, this is just like 70, uh, number 70 oil. Uh, it's made for smaller uh, RC cars. Uh, but that's all I had at the moment, so I put that in there, and it's, I think if I put some thicker stuff, uh, it would work a lot better. Um, this car is pretty impressive as far as what it has in it. Uh, you can see the steel, the uh, metal dog bones, metal drive cups, all the way around. I don't want to get too in-depth of this. Uh, it's got ball bearings all the way around. Uh, the drivetrain, I don't know if you noticed in the intro, the, uh, the diffs front and rear are metal. So it's a pretty smooth drivetrain. No issues there. Uh, when I was driving it, um, I blew up <laughs> the tail fin on this. Whoa! Jeez. Louise Looks like I broke my wings disintegrated 
the original tail uh, tail fin it had this big whale tail on there and uh, um, I was doing a top speed run and I can't drive one-handed because my thumb is too short to steer the wheel and I made my attempt to drive it uh, one-handed so I did blow up the whale tail so I quickly had some spare parts of uh, another Lexan body uh, so I just made my own little whale tail maybe a fish tail or minnow tail came out all right uh, but it did look naked without it so uh, I made that last night and uh, this is a this does have a three wire servo there's a couple of cool features about this car um, it only takes two pins to hold it down it has this little pressure grommet right there all you gotta do is just put a little pressure on the body there a lot of nice things about this vehicle people um, not only the brushless motor it's got a nice heat sink it's got this nice little stress bar right here aluminum so this makes the chassis really really rigid uh, all the plastic looks really strong real flexible um, I hit quite a few things in the video um, what else can I say the the servo is a three wire servo it's got uh, plug-ins for lights and uh, anything else you want to put in there you can put tail lights if you like it comes with a lie ion 1500 milliamp hour um, Dean's plug battery it's a two cell and yeah really what can I say everything about this vehicle is great but I want you guys to be the judge for yourselves and I will let you know what my opinion is uh, my opinion and my opinion only um, of how this car handles I'm, I'm kind of curious in what you guys think by watching the video now, I can drive. I'm not the best driver out there, but I can handle our RC cars. I've been doing it for a long time, probably 25-plus years anyway. And this car right here is, like I said, the tires hurt it. Not the right tires on this truck. Uh, so... I will play around with uh, finding the right tires, but as it comes out of the box, the handling on this thing is atrocious. Very, very hard to manage. Very hard to uh, keep it straight. Uh, I think the uh, servo is also uh, very sensitive. Um, you can't go one way or the other with it without going too far, so... Anyway, guys, I'll let you be the judge of it. I hope you like the video. Yeah, the Dingo comes with this uh, nice manual, uh, very in-depth. They haven't really missed too much. They give you a little tool kit along with some Allen wrenches because you do have Allen screws in there, which is uh, really nice. And uh, you get this controller right here, 2.4 gigahertz. has all of the adjustments. As you can see, it's not hurting for any adjustments. It also has a light switch. And yeah, it has the uh, left-handed throttle adjustment. Uh, so not throttle adjustment, but uh, wheel adjustment. So if you want to uh, hand your controller off to a left-handed person, or if you are left-handed yourself, you can easily adjust it uh, to your comfort level. So there you go, from one side to another. Also, it does have this uh, throttle placement adjuster. As you can see, if you are short-fingered like I am, then you can adjust, adjust it for small hand it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, grasp the controller itself is of good quality it's kind of heavy it's kind of gommy uh, but it works and it works pretty good only uh, four AA batteries 
is all it needs. And uh, yeah, it also has uh, some pretty good range. Uh, far enough. I, I can't give you the exact specs, but you know how when you drive an RC vehicle and uh, you can't tell which way uh, it's going, this will get you to that point. So it's, it's definitely far enough. Hey everyone, uh, here's a little video montage of the Remo Hobby Dingo 1 16th scale brushless car. I'm going to show you the good and the bad. Enjoy. Wow, this thing has got some speed. I know it's hard to see because that's all you see is dust. Should have been called the Tasmanian Devil. Oh, I like this. I like this buggy. I think I'm going to get some better tires for it. Holy crap. This thing is this thing is so sweet. Hard to control though. Oh, nice. Oh, jumping jacks. Cartwheels. Oh, nice wheelie. I hope I got that on video. Oh yeah, it would have made it. Okay, we're gonna try doing a speed run over here with this car. The Dingo, let's see how it does. Give it enough runway. Let's see what this thing can do. Whoa! Jeez. Louise. It looks like I broke my wing. My, uh... What do we got? All right. I don't know if you guys can see that. 25.4 miles an hour on this. Not bad for a brush, a brushless motor. Do I like the car? I do. Uh, I like the car. It's fast as heck. Seems like it's pretty tough so far, but it's very hard to manage. And it's like, Oh, jeez. <sighs> I'm going to turn the steering rates down a little bit more again just because really having a hard time controlling this. Every little increment is a big increment. And I just want you guys to know what you're going to deal with if you do happen to get this truck.
stuff, guys. Uh, I like the car. I want to like it, but the control is terrible. Good test for its durability. It seems to be holding up that way. Very hard to manage, guys. Uh, one thing you can really that I can really vouch for about the Remo Hobby Dingo is that it is tough. This thing is tough. I've hit it against the curbs uh, repeatedly. Um, the only downfall of this vehicle is the handling. Very, very hard to handle. I can't state it enough. Remo Hobby, you have something really good on your hands. Why not put some good tires on it? And some oil for the top. You really got to ease on the throttle. If you don't, you're going to lose control and spin right out. See, I'm easing on it right now and I can control it. But as soon as I spin it, there we go. See, you give it a little more gas. And it spins out. Jeez, that thing is tough. The thing is as tough as nails, man. See, this is what happened. Uh, the result of my son taking a jump and uh, taking a wicked belly flopper into the pavement. That's the unforgiveness of pavement. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a new chassis for this. They must, uh, not a chassis, but a belly pan for this. They must sell these, I'm sure, on Banggood. Uh, if they don't, then we'll know that the product support isn't that great, and I will let you know. But this is going to end the video, guys. I have no steering now. So uh, this kind of does us in. But thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. This is the Remo Hobby Dingo. We've had a lot of fun. It is one tough machine. I cannot fault it for cracking. I have 
uh, been taking jumps with this repetitively over and over again had some really hard crashes into the side of the sidewalks and everything else and uh, it has stood up until now so i'll let you know if this belly pan is orderable and we'll talk to you guys later thank you